Yo, today we're going to be looking at the Greg's Reverse Fate. This is a tactical rifle that got buffed recently. Before, it was if you hit an enemy with full shields, you had a chance of calling down an orbital bombardment. Now that has been changed to just be a flat rate. Whenever you hit an enemy, you can have a chance to call down some bombs. These bombs also inflict burn. The really cool part is they scale off of firearm damage. We're going to be going over that here in a minute with the unique ability. But... Overall, this weapon does incredibly well on any character. I specifically like it on our weapon platform. So like Valby with Supply Moisture, Enzo with his firearm enhancements, or if you're running Galay with like infinite ammo, there will be one mod you'll probably want to change around if you're going to be playing this on like an infinite ammo Galay. But any of those three work really well, but you don't even need to play this on a weapon platform. I've brought this in on like my Viesa just to see how fast I can kill Devour just as our, our little benchmark. And you're still killing them in like 15 or less seconds. And that was actually a version of the gun in the clips where I had worse passive. So once I did get the better passive, my kill times got faster by at least like two seconds, which is really nice. So there's a lot of things you can do to optimize this weapon and we're gonna go through all of it here in this video. This thing really is the real deal. So if you're looking for another weapon to invest in, I highly recommend Greg's. I've been having a really good time making first ascended content. And if you guys have been enjoying watching and you haven't hit that subscribe button already, I really would appreciate it. But let's go ahead and jump into this weapon. I think the best place to start off would be looking at its unique ability first. This is called Shaping Destiny. Now mine is at unique ability level four. This is gonna make a massive difference. So I highly recommend that you guys upgrade this weapon as quick as possible because it's directly gonna influence how much damage you deal. So on hitting an enemy, it's gonna proc bombardment at the enemy's location with a set chance and inflict burn on enemies hit by the bombardment. So that's like the orbital strike that I was talking about. The penalty that you get if you don't have it max is just hip fire and aim shot accuracy. It's not a huge deal, but it is nice to be a little bit more precise with it just because hitting every single crit and weak point does matter with this weapon. So bombardment, what it does at max level is a 20% chance when you hit an enemy to proc seven bombardments on the enemy's location. And all of these bombardments are each gonna deal the firearm damage. It's gonna deal 100% of that. So if you hit 500,000 with your shot, that procs the bombs. All seven of those bombs are gonna deal 500,000 damage. So there you can start seeing how the damage is gonna ramp up super quickly. So with this weapon, our entire goal is to get our damage number as high as possible, because that's gonna directly influence how much those bombardments are doing and in turn increase our DPS. Now the burns are also gonna be scaling off of the firearm damage. This is just gonna be 20% and they're gonna tick three times, but these will refresh each other. So as they're falling down, you can just constantly keep burn on. And that's something we're gonna be taking advantage of a little bit later once we get to our mods. One thing to note about the bombardments is that the areas they fall down in is pretty big. So on some of the skinnier targets, so like Dead Bride and things like that, as they're moving around, a lot of times they will miss. So if you're gonna be using it on enemies like that, make sure you knock them down first so they're standing still, then you're gonna end up dealing a lot more damage just cause one, you can obviously hit all of the weak points guaranteed essentially. And then all of the bombs are almost guaranteed to hit as well because they're not gonna be moving out of the way of it. So things like Devourer, Fortress, Gluttony, all of those enemies work really well with this weapon just because they are huge targets. A lot of the bombs will be essentially guaranteed to hit no matter what they're doing. Looking at our passives here on this weapon, you're gonna wanna just be maxing out your damage. I did take crit chance off just so I could gamble a little bit more for more damage. So you're essentially gonna be looking for crit damage. Damage to Colossus, this is a big one. I highly recommend getting this one gold. This is gonna make the biggest difference in your damage to bosses out of all of these. So make sure you get that one gold first. Don't be like me with a blue one. I gotta craft some more reroll resources to try to get a better one. But then from there, you're gonna get firearm attack and a weak point damage. There's really nothing else you should be running here. If you want a little bit more consistency, especially if you're running like Valby or Enzo where you're boosting your base crit rate, uh, critical hit rate can be something that is really beneficial just for consistency, but I'm looking for the most amount of damage possible. Looking at the mods on this weapon, it's a pretty standard gun build with double attack mods with action and reaction rifling reinforcement with double weak points with weak point sight and have aiming double crit chance with better insight and edging shot and a double crit damage with better concentration and concentration priority. Reload time really does not matter. You can like reload cancel a little over halfway through. It's still 
super short and this is still a really large critical hit damage bonus everything else is in like the 20s percent so this is essentially double those and then fire rate up just so we can dump that mag as quick as possible and increase our dps now the final slot i have fire conductor this was the slot that i've played around with the most so i was debating doing like magazine size or some of these other gold mods but i found fire conductor to be our best bet in all of the testing and spreadsheet stuff that i've done this works really well if you get essentially like the first one or two bullets out of your magazine to proc a bombardment you can have a good like two-thirds of your mag with this bonus on them which is really nice so that's gonna be a huge dps increase our other gold mods just either don't work or aren't really that great for it so the ones that don't work sharp precision shot even if you have the setting that turns this gun full auto and you're holding the trigger it's not going to stack this up unfortunately so this is out of the question real life fighter all of the bombs out of the gun are going to be resetting the stacks on this so we can't really be using that you're really only going to get like six stacks or so on average and then your bombs are going to start hitting and it's going to cancel it out so we can't use that so the only other ones that really could play with would be like mental focus and spray and pray so spray and pray i would just rather have a magazine size because this has a cooldown and doesn't even offer as much as like a magazine size one so if you were thinking about this one instead of fire conductor i would just use mag size you get up to like 44 rounds in a mag i think that's really good um, and then mental focus if you're using like infinite ammo glay this is what you should be using instead of fire conductor because you can stack this up really fast and really high and keep it up there which is really good but for everybody else this ended up being a dps loss versus fire conductor i gave both of them kind of their best case scenarios in terms of like bombs and everything and fire conductor still came out on top and this is a little bit more consistent than mental focus this takes a long time to stack up so i wasn't a huge fan of this one if you get any of the bombs proccing in like the first half of the stacks on here it's just going to be doing significantly less than fire conductor and even if you get them to proc in the later half it's still going to be doing less than fire conductor so i found this to be my overall best bet for that final slot now i will admit the recoil on this gun can be pretty rough so if you're not really confident in your aim or if you're on like controller or something and still not really confident in it you can take off the fire conductor and just put on like a recoil mod if you want because if you take a peek here um it pulls up quite a bit so you got to be on top of that especially since like i said you do be hitting all of your weak points with this gun um even on pc it's still pretty hard to control so don't be afraid to sacrifice a little bit of like theoretical damage for recoil control where you can actually get consistent real life damage so that is a really good option you could be doing with that final slot as well i did just want to show off what we could get our crit chance to on some of our weapon platforms like enzo and valby so with enzo here if i put my one down and use my ult we can actually get our crit chance up to 95 percent right now i do have the decimator set active for an extra five percent that's not going to be doing it too much but still 95 percent on this thing is really good it makes it feel incredibly consistent but now let's take a look at valby now valby here i'm standing in my water with supply moisture if we take a peek at this we're sitting at 67 percent, so still not quite as good as enzo but this is still really good in the grand scheme of things and the best part is, is you don't have to throw your one down between every magazine like you do on enzo so you can just like keep standing near water and shooting and reloading it does not matter as long as you're standing in there you're going to get that 67 percent which is really nice to have and i highly recommend this weapon on one of those two characters but yeah once again greg's is the absolute real deal do not be afraid to invest in this weapon with your catalyst and an activator it does so much damage in such a short amount of time it's so good you guys can be melting anything you throw this on a weapon platform character it's gonna be doing even better and you're gonna have a great option especially for like some range like if you're running a thunder cage as your main weapon you know and you want to do this as your second this is a great little mid to slightly longer range option that you can have and you can pair this with like your snipers your enduring legacies for whatever scenario you're in you can pull out one of those three weapons and be good to go so i'm a big fan of adding this weapon to my arsenal i truly do think this is the highest damage build that you can have on this weapon so i do recommend building this if you can but don't be afraid like i said to swap out that fire conductor for some recoil control if you're not confident in your aim or not confident in like controller support type stuff so run that 
and you'll be good to go. But thank you all for watching this far in the video. I really do appreciate it. Consider leaving the thumbs up on the video to let me know. Also consider subscribing for more first descending content. But thank you once again, and I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.